Six engines lie scattered among the rubble, and the 84-meter fuselage is broken into two pieces. As the smoke clears, the largest aircraft in human history lies in ruins at Gostomel Airport, marking the end of an era. On March 4, 2022, a reporter from Russia's Channel 1 walked through the ruins of Gostomel Airport, with the camera sweeping over the burned-out hangars. The N-225, Maria, transport aircraft, once soaring through the skies, now lies quietly among the ruins, its wings separated from the fuselage, its nose lying on the ground, with only three engines remaining to hint at the once mighty Colossus. Two months earlier, Captain Mitro had piloted this world's largest transport aircraft on its final flight mission. Now, it has become the most tragic casualty in aviation history during the Russia-Ukraine conflict. The N-225 was born in 1988 during the golden age of Soviet space engineering. This steel colossus, with a fuselage length of 84 meters and a wingspan of 88.4 meters, was originally designed to transport the Buran space shuttle. Its maximum takeoff weight is 640 tons, with a cargo hold capacity of 250 tons, equivalent to transporting five Type 99 main battle tanks in a single flight. When it landed at Shujiajuang Airport to deliver supplies, the shadow cast by its wingspan alone could cover an entire football field. The N-225 holds 250 world records, including achievements in payload and takeoff weight, that remain unmatched to this day. However, its operational costs are staggering. Only a dozen or so airports worldwide can accommodate its takeoff and landing requirements, with each charter flight costing up to $1 million, and it averages only around 20 flights per year. In 2016, a company named China Airspace Industry Group made a high-profile announcement about introducing N-225 technology, planning to establish a production base in Luzhou, Sichuan. This farce ultimately ended with the company's official website being shut down due to unpaid fees, and the so-called domestically produced aircraft to be rolled out in 2019 was revealed to be false marketing. When the N-225 was destroyed in 2022, Ukraine estimated that the repair costs would exceed 3 billion US dollars and take more than five years to complete. The second aircraft, which was 70% complete, had been estimated to require an additional 460 million US dollars to finish since 2012, but it never saw the light of day again. As the N-225 fell, Chinese aviation professionals were forging their own path of independent innovation. On January the 26th, 2013, the Y-20, Kunpeng, successfully made its maiden flight, marking China's strategic airlift capability transitioning from borrowing ships to sail to building ships to sail far. This large transport aircraft, with a maximum takeoff weight of 220 tons and a payload of 66 tons, can operate on unpaved runways and rapidly achieve combat readiness. In June 2025, a Y-20 physical prototype adorned with a large red flower was installed at the Chang'an campus of Northwestern Polytechnical University. This steel Kunpeng, which underwent six months of disassembly, transportation, and installation, will serve as a mobile classroom for students. At the installation ceremony, Y-20 chief designer and Chinese Academy of Engineering academician Tang Chonghong declared confidently, the Y-20 is China's first large aircraft, but it is by no means the last. We have the capability to build even larger aircraft. Tang Chonghong attributes China's aviation breakthrough to the eight words, self-reliance and innovation. From project initiation to its first flight, the Y-20's development process took only six years shattering Western predictions that China would need decades to master large transport aircraft. Today, a fleet of over 60 Y-20S forms an air railway network that has demonstrated its powerful strategic transport capabilities in missions such as peacekeeping in Africa and evacuating Chinese nationals from the Middle East. Building on the success of the Y-20, China's aviation industry has set its sights on even greater heights. According to multiple sources, China's next-generation heavy strategic transport aircraft will achieve a significant leap from the 200-ton class to the 600-ton class. Its design specifications are impressive, a maximum takeoff weight of 700 tons, a payload capacity of 250 tons, equivalent to four times that of the Y-20, a range exceeding 5,000 kilometers with a 200-ton payload, covering the distance from China to Djibouti, and a range exceeding 10,000 kilometers with a 100-ton payload reaching Tanzania in Africa. The engine is at the heart of this ambitious plan, 
The domestically produced CJ2000 high bypass turbofan engine delivers a thrust of 35 tons per unit, with a total thrust of 140 tons from four engines, equivalent to the total thrust of 6D18T engines on the N225. This power system, originally developed for the CR 929 wide body passenger aircraft, has completed 3,000 hours of reliability testing marking a major breakthrough for China in the field of aviation propulsion. Technical breakthroughs are being made on multiple fronts. Tang Chong Hong's philosophy of strengthening the foundation is being put into practice in the topological optimization of the airframe structure. The Northwest University of Aeronautics and Astronautics team has overcome the aerodynamic design challenges of supercritical wings, and Harbin Institute of Technology has developed a new carbon fiber composite material that can reduce the aircraft's weight by 30%. Even the devilish detail of the n 124s 20-ton cargo door deforming and getting stuck has been addressed by Chinese engineers, who innovatively adopted a multi-stage hydraulic linkage plus laser calibration solution to control errors to the millimeter level. Why does China need such a massive, flying great wall? The 2024 South China Sea Island construction project provides a practical answer when large radar stations require overall lifting. The 150-ton payload capacity of the N-124, the largest transport aircraft in service, is already insufficient. The military value is even more profound. Modifying an early warning aircraft based on a 600-ton platform can accommodate a radar radome with a diameter of 28 meters, extending the detection range to 1,500 kilometers and improving tracking capabilities for hypersonic weapons by 300%. A Ukrainian engineer who participated in the maintenance of the N-225 remarked, the N-225's deck can accommodate 12 MiG-21S. China's version might be able to launch and land drone swarms. Such a giant platform could become a hub for future aerospace operations, capable of carrying laser weapon systems or serving as a launch platform for hypersonic weapons. Comparisons with the N-225 highlight the practical innovations of China's solution. The N-225 can only take off and land at a dozen or so airports worldwide, and each mission requires a dedicated support team. However, China's new model, through advanced aerodynamic design and material application, is expected to be able to take off and land at more airports, significantly improving its economic efficiency and deployment flexibility. The Y-20 prototype lies quietly under the summer sun on the campus of Northwestern Polytechnical University, with every rivet on its fuselage reflecting the sweat of China's aviation professionals. The vow of academician Tang Chonghong to build a larger aircraft still echoes in our ears. At Gostomel Airport in Ukraine, the metal fragments of the N-225 wreckage whine in the wind, as if narrating an unfinished aerospace dream. Chinese aviation engineers have chosen to transform the N-225's design blueprints into topological optimization models in the laboratory, upgrading the roar of six outdated engines to the powerful thrust of four domestically produced high-thrust engines. When the next generation, Kunpeng, unfolds its 90-meter wingspan to pierce the clouds, human aviation history will bear witness, true legends never end.